What is up guys, welcome to Boomer Base. Today I am back with Maddie. Say hello Maddie. Hello. Today Maddie is joining me for her first ever retrospective. That's right, all six of my viewers retrospective is back. We're here to talk about Monsters Inc. If you couldn't work that out from the thumbnail. From the title. Yep. So Maddie, kick it off. Tell me, what do you remember about Monsters Inc. from when you were younger? When I was younger... I remember the monsters worked in an office environment. That's all I remember. That's all you remember. I remember them working in an office, and I didn't, I didn't, didn't like it. Shocking statement that is. I know. So if you're new around here, retrospective as well. We look at films that we watched as a card, a, a card, a, a child or a kid when we were younger, essentially, and we come back and we view it today, and we find out whether that film holds up. Or if it's just nostalgia telling us that this film was good when it, it is utter shite. So, Maddie, without going into too much detail just yet, did Monsters, Inc. hold up? Were you pleasantly surprised? Or was it shit? Pleasantly surprised. Pleasantly surprised, folks. You've I'm heard it here first. Up. Maddie was pleasantly surprised by Monsters, Inc. Now, for me, I grew up watching Pixar films. Pixar... I prefer Pixar to Disney. Pixar is my bread and butter. I love it. There's something different about watching the Pixar film. It makes me feel whole. It makes me feel warm and fuzzy. And Monsters, Inc. was one of my faves when I was younger. Toy Story is definitely up there, and I think it is my favourite Disney Pixar film. But I love Monsters, Inc. growing up. It's a simple story. It's a short film. It's all fun and games, and it's a, a right delight to watch. Now... What did I think re-watching it now with the eyes of retrospective? Well, I thought it was still bloody brilliant. I don't think you can top Monsters, Inc. at all. Pixar films in general are just one of a kind and just I don't think will depreciate with age. I think I could watch Monsters, Inc. in 20 years and I'd probably still like it. Hmm. I was very surprised at one point where Mike is trying to get Boo to calm down and he rolls and ends up in the bin and the books go in his mouth. I howled much more than I thought I would at that scene. You did it, find that funny. Didn't I you? was just very caught off guard. Like I don't, I don't normally find myself laughing out loud with animated films as a whole, but it caught me off guard there. It caught a snigger out me that I didn't really expect to do. But no, Maddie, tell me who was your favorite character in Monsters Inc. You've got a lot to choose from. Um, Maddie's a probably, lady of many words, aren't you? Probably Boo. Probably Boo? Is she's, that because you're pretty much Boo? She's me, yeah. We, we stumbled across the, a lot of things that Boo did and does throughout the film is just what Maddie does randomly. <laughs> From her jiggle for needing a wee to how she gets into bed and just sort of sits there all snuggled up, it was... Quite funny and ironic to see that Maddie is essentially Boo. Um, for me, easy. 10 out of 10, Mike Wazowski. I love he, him. He, he, is a, he is a funny man. He is a funny character. And I'm looking forward to eventually just showing you Monsters University. Have you ever seen that? I'm not 100% sure. Because there is. So Monsters, Inc. has a little bit more now. So there's Monsters, Inc. There's Monsters University, which is a prequel to this, where, know, it's, know that, yeah. where Mike and Sully meet, become friends. Well, and, then there's, the and then there's Monsters at Work, which is a sequel to this, where it's like newcomers come in and Mike and Sully help them. When did that come out? Um, I don't think too long ago, to be fair. Um, I, I want to say that. it was 2022, 20, Monsters... Let's type it on Google. Monsters at Work animated series. Those are series. Yeah, 2021, sorry. Um, where, yes, I think it's just people like coming onto the laugh floor when they're just like, it's got like reasonable mm, seven reviews. Out of ten. Yeah. So if you if we watch the Monsters University and you like that enough, maybe we can gibber on to this. Randall, I just hate Randall. Yep. Ra oh, tangent alert. I never, I do not remember Randall's character whatsoever, like at all. Don't rem I don't don't remember him at all, and he's like a massive part of the film. So, are you sure you watched Monsters Inc. when you were younger? Definitely did. I used to get confused with um. I remember the door. Mister Waternoose, or whatever the fuck his name is. I used to get his like head confused with the um. Oh, 
fuck, what's his name from Lilo and Stitch? The giant, the about? giant whale man. <laughs> I don't know what he's killed. Yeah, whatever his name is, I used to get their faces mixed up. Um, do like Roz. Roz is a, a gem of a character. Turns out she's number one for the CDA. She busts in for the undercover work. That was a nice sort of twist in the film. I do like that. I forget about that in the film whenever I watch it until like she pops out and she's like, I was trying to bust this man for a few years <laughs> and whatnot. Celia, I actually just don't like at all. She is a bit. Not? She's. A, I don't know. I just find her a bit annoying. The, I think she's supposed to be like that. I think. I, I know. I think so. I wish we got to see something that took place before this film, but uh, but when they're at the I don't know wherever the corporation is the, that it's called, um, but we got to see more of like the other monsters that scare and things. Mm. You know that would have been cool to like see. I think because like, even though some of them are only on the screen for. A short amount of time. A lot of them still have quite a lot of personality, which is nice. And watching this film, you know, what, a few days ago now? Yeah. This film's from 2001. Weekend? I think so. Like, this film is 22 years old, and quite happily you could tell me that this came out, like, this year. Like, that's one thing I fully appreciate. I still think that 2000s was, like, 10 years ago. I, me too. But i got to remember that I'm an old man now, and just, it's not... I am an old man. Very dramatic. That's because I am dramatic, Maddie. Yeah. Old men are very dramatic. <laughs> no, just you. Well, I'll happily be an old dramatic man. But you could tell me that this film came out last year and I would be... Well, other than the fact that I know that it's Monsters Inc. and didn't come out last year, but you understand the analogy. I do. It, it looks good. It looks it's good. good for 2001. Yeah. All, all, you can't look at any Pixar film, really, and go... That looks old, or that looks shit. If you take even some of the like late nineties, early two thousands Disney films, they like they look fine and they look good, but they don't. I know what you mean. They, they don't, don't hold, hold up, up as yeah. much as Pixar movies do. Like what? Then again, when did the first Pixar movie come out? Uh, nineteen ninety nine, maybe. Toy, it was a lot toy, later than Disney, anyway. Toy Story, nineteen ninety five. Toy Story, the first one. Yeah. Okay. Nineteen ninety five. Wow. Wow, was it really 1995? God fucking damn it. That film looks so fucking good for See, 1995. I, it does, but I still... I do think Toy Story does look a bit old. It, it certainly does. Well, I mean, it is a film that's like exactly. nearly 30 yes, years exactly, old. But exactly, but I'm just saying. It still doesn't look the same old as some of the, like, even later Disney films. Disney Pixar really had it cut mm-hmm. out. S- uh, Sully, just like Sully. He's just a likeable character. His yes. character development is just... Reminds me of a big friendly dog. Yeah, it's it's great. Watching him go from just, you know, kind of like pumped up, he's scaring, he's all cool, and then suddenly he's just straight in likes Boo and wants to protect Boo. No. Just all the chase scenes with Boo are quite funny. And things when he starts playing with her in the bathroom and think that sounds wrong. Um, yeah. When he starts playing hide-and-seek in the bathroom. He just plays hide-and-seek with her. I think really lovely. That was nice and cute. Reading her the story, when he got all upset, when he scared her. That was cute, and she was all terrified and things. It was just... A lovely relationship. It was it just, been, it just be, sweet. It would it would be nice to see, like, it afterwards. Yeah. Like, I, I, I know at the very end of the film, he was like... He gets to go back reunited. when Mike made the door back up. How sweet. Too, too nice, to be that honest, too nice. Cute. I forget, like, I, that caught me off guard i forgot that he like yeah. goes and sees her again i thought that was just it afterwards so very very cool i'm looking forward to watching more maybe disney pixar films with you manny and mm-hmm. i can't wait to do the most anticipated film on the top of our list chicken run i don't want to watch chicken run look Ross is voiced by a man <laughs> <laughs> that's nice <laughs> yeah i don't i'm not watching chicken run oh, one day we'll watch chicken run again now, it wouldn't be retrospective if we didn't talk about some cool trivia, Maddie. So, I know you're sat next to me, so it's not the same as other retrospectives, but I'm going to read you some trivia, okay? okay? So, Maddie, did you know the actress that played Boo, Mary Gibbs, was so young that it proved difficult to get her to stand in the recording studio? So, they simply just took a microphone around with her and recorded her lines and then just spliced it all together. I did know that. Do you know you- why? Why, Maddie? Because I read it about 10 minutes ago well, on the screen. Well, I can't help that you've read what's on my screen. <laughs> That's just not fair. It's not fair at all. 
I, it's weird. I can hear it, but I don't also hear it at the same time about Steve Buscemi being Randall. It's weird. Like, I hate Randall. Oh, it's him. Oh, yeah, that, that, that suits him spot on. He plays that cat, that type of character, doesn't he? Not always. He, he plays that type of character in um, Grown Ups. Um, I suppose. He does. Um, Which is a bit like a bit of a weird, bit of a creep. I mean, he's really cool in Spy Kids 2. Right, okay. Well, I haven't seen that, so... You haven't seen Spy Kids 2? I haven't seen Spy Kids. Damn, you know what this... Oh, I've already done retrospective on Spy Kids. Oh, shame. I guess we'll have to do retrospective 2.0. <laughs> or we'll watch, retro... we'll watch Spy Kids and then we'll do a retrospective on Spy Kids 2. Oh, okay. You'll have fun. It's got the Hannah Montana's best friend, Emily Osmond, in it. Lily. Yeah. She's in it, and she's got little pigtails that spin around. <laughs> and it's quite quite goofy and fun. But, no. I had a nice time watching Monsters, Inc. I look forward to nice. watching... They're just good comfort films. You know, you, if you watch Disney Pixar films, you know just how nice and wonderful they are to watch. I expect a bit bored, not going to lie, but I enjoyed them. Exactly. That's what, we, that's what we love to hear. That's what we love to hear. We love hearing good fun with Disney Pixar films. And from having one of my friends, Jono, tell me that animated films look even better on 4K, I want to get all of the Disney Pixar films in 4K. Can you watch 4K on the... On the PS5, yeah. yeah. That's, it's got a built-in 4K player. Cool. That's part and parcel why I spent money to buy it. And the Spider-Man on it. Well, yeah. But, <laughs> you know, beggars can't be choosers, I guess. But, no. Thank you very much for watching up to this point. I think it's safe to say that... Monsters Inc. was a definite success. win. A success. That is right, Maddie. Success. Give it the Maddie thumbs up success. Even though no one can see you thumbs up, we'll tell them you, you thumbs can up. see it? Oh. Uh, no, but they won't see that. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm thumbs up. Maddie's thumbs up. That's a, that's a win for me today. Don't forget to drop a like, a comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And just be happy you tuned into Retrospective. I thought it was going to be lost. But no. Toodle pip now. Take care. All the best. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. See you later. <laughs> hey, thank you for watching the video. Click the button to keep watching or click the other video for more videos. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.